Today we're going to talk about color mixing and we're going to create a color wheel so that we can practice mixing colors and making them lighter and learning also how to make the colors darker without using black paint. So I have my paint palette all set up. I've included red, yellow, and blue, which are the primary colors. And then I also have my white paint because I'll need that to make my colors lighter. Everybody should have two water basins at each table. We'll share those water basins and we can rinse those out as needed. And then our paper towel to wipe our brush off if it gets too wet. Um, because with acrylic paint, we want to make sure that our paint is nice and thick. First, we want to make sure that our name is at the top of our worksheet and there's a place for you to put that on there. And then we're just going to take a look at our color wheel. On the outside edge of the wheel will be all of our colors that we mix up and that's where we're going to start. The inside ring right here is going to represent all of the colors as they are when they're mixed with their complementary color to make them darker. And in the middle or the center of our color wheel, that will represent all of our colors in the lightest version and that to create those, we will mix them with white. So let's start out by painting in our primary colors. I'm gonna start out and dip my brush in the red paint and I'm going to paint in this section of my color wheel with my red. I can go back in and blend my paint, painting it on so that it's nice and smooth. And even. So there's the red part of my color wheel. Now I'm going to rinse my brush out in the water. And there should be a place in your water basin that looks like it has texture in the bottom that's a really good place to clean your brush. And then I'm going to dry it on my paper towel. The next color that I'm going to paint is the yellow. So I'll go up here and paint in the yellow. Again, washing my brush and drying it on my paper towel. And then I'm going to dip my paintbrush into the blue and I'm going to paint in this blue part of my color wheel. Now the primary colors are the colors that make all the other colors. So we're able to take these three colors and make, if we count on here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other colors with just those primary colors. So I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna create some orange. So I wanna take my yellow and a little bit of my red and mix those together. Gonna to add a little bit more yellow to this to lighten it up. And that gives me my orange. So I'm gonna paint in the orange color. And if you find that your orange looks too dark, that's okay. Just add a little bit more yellow to it. Sometimes I think it's helpful to start with your yellow paint 
a little bit of yellow down here and then just add a little bit of red at a time. Since the red is darker, it tends to make the orange really dark if you have more red than, and then yellow. So let's rinse off our brush again and dry it. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is try to make something that's in between my yellow and my orange. So I'm going to take a little bit of this orange that I have and just add more yellow to it. Again, I'm mixing all my colors down here because I need to use my yellow later to make green, so I don't want to turn it all orange. Okay, so here's my yellow orange. It should appear a bit lighter than your orange because it has more yellow in it. So it's just a shade lighter than your regular orange. And then I'm going to make my red orange. So I'm going to take this orange that I made and I'm going to add red to it. And that gives me my red orange. Again, it's just a shade darker than my orange, but it's not completely red. You'll notice too that when your paints dry, they look a little bit different than they do when you first paint them. Usually they dry a little bit darker. So now I have my yellow orange and my red orange. Now let's try making some green. I'm gonna take my blue and my yellow and mix those together and that's going to give me my green color. Now I know that we have green paint. We'll get green paint out when we do our impressionism paintings, but it's really good to try to make your own colors. This is a great practice for you to make your own colors. So there's my green. Now, to make yellow green, I'm going to take some of that green, again, mix it with my yellow to make it lighter. And I'm going to put that right here where it says yellow green. So it's lighter green because it has more yellow. Now let's try to make some blue green. We're gonna take the green that we already have and add over here some blue to it. And that's gonna give us a really pretty color. It's like a turquoise, a blue green. Again, I don't need a lot of paint for this to cover up, just enough to fill in that section. So there's my blue green. Now let's try to make some violet, which is purple. And I'm gonna take my red and a little bit of blue, and I'm gonna make that violet color. Now this violet color is a little bit dark, and that's okay. I think it has to do with these two colors and kind of what they make when they're mixed together. It looks a little bit more like a maroonish purple, but that's okay. So I'm going to paint the violet. Now in order to make red violet, I'm just gonna add a little bit more red to this that I already made. And it's gonna look a little bit more like a maroon color almost like a, the color of a Dr. Pepper can. So there's my red violet. And now I'm going to make my blue violet. 
So let's mix together a little bit of blue into my violet. And that's going to give me this nice dark blue violet. Just so you know, if for some reason you're painting this and it kind of, you kind of notice that maybe the color that you mixed isn't what you thought it was going to be on the paper, it's okay to let this dry. And because it's acrylic paint, you can paint right over something that you already did and fix it. All right, so there's all my colors and they're all mixed and it looks really nice. Now let's talk about how to make a color lighter. So we're gonna focus now on the center of the color wheel. If I wanna make a color lighter, all I have to do is take my white, add a little bit of that color to it. So right now I'm making light yellow. So just a little bit of yellow into my white and I'm gonna paint that color in. So it should look very, very light, almost like a pastel color. There's my light yellow. And I can go in and do that with all of my colors. If I wanna make light red, that's pink. So I'm gonna, going to mix my red and my white, and I'm gonna paint in my light red. This is a great color to use if you have a cloud in the sky that has a little bit of a highlight on it or something. To make my light blue, again, just white with some blue in it. And you can go in and do that to all of your other colors. Just make your color that you need. Start with white and add a little bit of color to the white and it will give you your lighter color. If we look at the color wheel here, this shows a color wheel. We can see the colors along the outside and then our lighter colors on the inside and then the middle are the darker colors. Now let's practice how to make darker colors. Now, since we don't have any black paint, we're going to mix the color with its complement. The complementary color is directly across from it on the color wheel. So to make dark yellow, I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of violet. To make dark orange, I'm gonna mix it with just a little bit of blue. To make dark red, I'm going to mix it with just a tiny bit of green, and that's what I'm going to paint in this section right here. So let's try one. Here's my red paint. If I want to make that darker, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of green. and that's gonna give me my darker red. Again, it's gonna look more like a maroon color, and that's what we're going for. If I wanna make a dark yellow, take my yellow and mix it with a little bit of my purple, and it's gonna give me more of like a mustardy darker yellow. You don't really need a lot of the opposite color. You just need a tiny drop. And that gives me my darker value. And then let's do the blue. If I want to make a dark blue, I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to mix it with just a little bit of orange. And 
and that's going to give me my dark navy blue. So that's the basics of color mixing. Making our colors lighter and darker. And I can't wait to see everybody practice and come up with some really great color wheels.